Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Read and Roll, the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sagittarians. I want to say to each and every person, um, thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you for returning each and every week. Um, this is going to be a real weird week um, because of the hurricanes that are happening. And I am sitting in the hurricane restricted area, so um, we're not sure what is going to happen. But anyway, it's going to be um, for you guys. It's, it's a weird week also for you guys because you Sagittarians are always getting like one of the best layouts. I don't know what has been happening um, the last couple of weeks for you Sagittarians. But anyway, you are spiritually protected. Whatever is happening in this week, you're spiritually protected. You will be receiving a message from the fire sign. So whoever um, it can be you're receiving from a message from an Aries and Leo or a Sagittarius yourself okay but whatever a message is coming in and listen to your intuition some me this message is going to come via intuition this message is going to come in from other people so this is going to be positive so whatever the situation is you need to understand that this week is going to be a week of profound um, changes and it is uh, an emotional but yet still a week of uh, changes that is happening you have an in uh, um the energy of the star on thursday so whatsoever is happening there's a message of the hurt so these are good messages and signs that are coming in i'm asking my angels and guides to show me whatever the situation is whatever is happening around you in this week whatever is happening around you in this week there or a situation you're now seeing clearly a situation whatever is happening so here we go let's look it's a weird week you guys there is a message that is coming in and this message is going to make a decision and make you a decision to move on okay whatever the message is it's going to make help you to make a decision to move on and move away from something okay let's see what is the number in this week i see seven um a lot of people you fire sign have been having seven um in this week i see seven and if your vibration the number seven is here and the number five is here seven and five but you are being protected in this week whatever the situation is you are being protected in this week okay we have the two of heart on Monday this is a good sign because this week begins from the 80 this uh, the 11 until the 17 this week is the week of the hurt and you are having a message from a fire sign but yet still on Monday you are having the two of earth whatever the situation is with the energy of the two of hurt this is what is playing out in your life so you have the message of the two of hurt and with the two of earth you have the ace of one a new beginning so this is good whatever is happening with your financial situation this is going to be very good this there is going to be a balance with your financial situation and that sort of a thing so Let's look at this and break this down. The energy of the two of heart come with a new beginning. So there will be a new beginning in your financial situation, your materialistic needs, but yet still your emotional um, needs because this is the, the week of uh, the world. So the world is end of a situation, new and, and beginning of a wonderful new situation. On Tuesday, another heart sign, which is very good. Um, this is very balanced. And this is a page of earth that is coming in with a message. This message is um, obsession of the seven of swords. So there is a message coming in and someone is trying to seal something away from you. And um, be aware, whatever the message is, someone is trying to steal something. So be aware of whatever is happening. Okay. As we move on, we have the energy of the seven of fire. The seven of fire is a protective. So whatsoever is happening in this week, you Sagittarians are going to be very protected by the universal beams and angels. You have the unicorn here for the people who have unicorns as their spirit guides and animal spirit guides. Call upon them. Call upon the universal angels and guiding angels for divine protection in this week because it's going to be a week of protection. Whatever is happening to you, Sagittarians, protection is here from the universe. Another horse, another so there's obviously people 
um, let's say that you're in a area something is happening with the horses and what we forget to do is that we need to pray for the horses pray for the horses and ask for divine um, healing and ask for protection so that they can be blessed and um, return to the spirit world and become unicorns because the horses on the herd they have come to you know each and everything on this earth have come to um, work out their spiritual um, um, yeah works also so uh, lessons and uh, pray for horses that's why I can't imagine that people eat horses because that is not supposed to be so pray for the horses and ask that they be um, ascended and um, they will become um, unicorns okay because a lot of us do not know that we need to pray for the animals we also should pray over meat when we eat meat because what happened is that um, the animals are killed and we eat the meat and that is actually um, an unjust way where the universe see it because we can't eat ourselves we're not supposed to eat flesh okay but that's my opinion please don't take it personal so pray for the horses that they may be ascend and become unicorns okay so pray for this horse that he um you know he will be ascend you have the eight of swords which you're not seeing something clearly there is a situation that is playing out and you're not seeing something clearly this is a week of um things that are not clear so ask the universal angels to come in and help you to see clarity in this week as we move on on Thursday you have the energy of the star and this is a wonderful energy the energy of the star so whatever whatever you thought was a failure the energy of the star comes out to let you know that it was no failure it is good so whatever you thought that was a failure the energy of the star comes out to let you know that it's a positive positive situation whatever is happening know that uh, um, you are going to become the star because whatever this failure was you it actually wasn't failure it was good sometimes we think that things are failure but sometimes it just opened the door to something else that you weren't seen sometimes this is how your angels and guides show you different things in your life okay we have the energy of the number eight so number eight and number seven is going to be um, your number your numerological number number eight and number seven is going to be your number neuro your number for this week eight and seven infinity of abundancy even if you don't receive money you Sagittarians because you're one of the luckiest sign you always uh, receive uh, the infinity wisdom the infinity abundance number eight is the fire and whatever is happening here there is clarity coming to a situation a lot of information will be coming your way and this information whether via email text message whatever messages this is coming through good messages coming through and you are going to finally have clarity and realize the part that you're supposed to take in your life so good positive messages are about to come through for you and you are going to see and realize the part that you should take in your life so like for people who are not aware of you know um, am I doing this is this the right thing for me then you're going to start to receive a lot of messages and you're going to realize oh my god okay so this is what I should be doing so this is what I'm good at that sort of a thing for people who are looking to work a lot of new opportunities are going to come in a lot of new people are going to want to um, connect with you a lot of information is going to uh, about to, to enter your life as we move on we have the energy vibration of uh, um, judgment energy vibration of judgment is um, a positive one you have an eight of uh, Pentacles so this is good whatever it is they're saying to you work hard on whatever you're working hard on because it's going to bring you a lot of success so they want you to learn and also work hard on whatever you are um, working on because it's going to bring you a lot of success so this judgment is actually a very beautiful message that is on Saturday. On Sunday, we have the three of one the water. The three of water is positive because it's a celebration. So on Sunday, you are going to have a celebration. Whatever the celebration is, is the celebration is uh, um, against uh, 
the hardship that you have been going through you're going to really celebrate a huge celebration against the hardship that you have been going through so a lot of people have been going through hardship in their lives and you're going to have a huge celebration that this has finally ended this has finally ended so this is a good positive energy that is coming through because whatever that was happening whatever hardship you were going through this as finally ended you're going to have a huge celebration on Sunday so as I look at your week and protection the defense you're very defensive hold up the defensive in this week whatever is happening you have an energy where um, the the universe organization that sort of a thing is here um, an organization is protecting you you're being um, protected from something whatever that has happened whatever that people are, 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 are oppressive uh, because in the, in the first half of the week you're going to feel oppressive but then that is going to hand um, a message is going to be coming into you and a new life uh, with your materialistic and your emotion a new um, way and judgment is going to be here and the energy of judgment is going to say to you the road that you're on go forward because that is what you were meant to do as we look at the second half of the week whatever failures you think you had whatever failures you think you have has become made you a star so whatever failures you thought you had has made you a star so it wasn't a failure it was that um, you thought it was a failure but actually it makes you become the star um, whatever hardship you were going through you are going to have a wonderful celebration of this so do not worry about the things that is going on around you because um, sometimes things certain things have to happen so you have to go through um, like the darkness to, to see the light okay if you're going through a tunnel you have to go through a darkness to see the light at the end of the tunnel okay so Let's look at this and understand where we are. We're using um, the angels of abundance. And let's see what is happening here. The angel of abundance. And this is visualize abundance in all form. This is very wonderful. God gave us um, such great spiritual power that everything you visualize um, eventually becomes reality. Hold a steadfast vision of that which is beautiful, healthy, positive, and filled with blessing. And that is what you will experience. Isn't this a wonderful? I want to hold it up so people can come back and read it. It's a very beautiful card. I only use positive energy cards. So here we are. This is a really positive. So come back and look at this card because it's going to be um, good because whatever is happening in this week it's going to change a lot of your your lives you are spiritually protected whatever dissolution was there clarity is going to come out the next uh, message that I have for you ask a question if there's a if something is bothering you ask the question because I'm using the angel um, answer and the answer is in the near future so this is going to be wonderful whatever is happening in the near future this is going to be very positive whatever is happening you are whatever you're asking for in the near future it's going to happen okay so this is very very wonderful so ladies and gentlemen it is um, the end of this reading and I want to give a message please remember if um, I should not put up any weekly readings that is because I am in um, the area of the hurricane so and I don't want to run away I, I, I just don't feel like um, to leave if I, you know so um, whatever is happening this is going to be okay um, please just listen to your um, reading and for the people who are in um, the United States please remember the people in Florida please remember the people in the Caribbeans 
um, please make donations to um, help out in whatever way to the people who are in the um, Texas uh, who have gone through this and for us that is going to happen um, in Florida so remember whenever we give it doesn't matter what, how much we give but um, it is how we give so I'm hoping that everything will be okay so I want to say to each and every person listen to the general reading for September and listen to the last two weeks if uh, I'm not able to upload any weekly videos and I want to say namaste please take care of yourself and I'm sending all of you love and light I'm wishing you the best